Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a route combination that you can use from Trips Tight End. It's really gonna be all hot routes, and it's gonna do a really, really good job of being able to be man in zone coverages and really open up kind of the sidelines for your passing because this uh, play is going to be a little bit more of a middle of the field style of passing concept. Now, uh, if you guys want to get my entire trips tied in offensive ebook, join the Patreon. It's only ten dollars to sign up. The link's going to be in the description for that. But we're talking today about the play PA counter go again. You can do this out of any play in trips tied in. The setup is very simple. We're going to leave this play action so that we can get better pass protection. It's the main reason we're calling play action. All we're going to do is we're going to put our tight end on a tight end apprentice post. We're going to put our inside trips receiver on a drag. We're going to streak our outside trips receiver, and we're going to put our, or I'm sorry, we're going to streak our middle trips receiver, and we're going to put our outside trips receiver on this in route. Now, the in route is really important to the play, and it's really what makes this super effective if your opponent is running any kind of zone or double Mabel style of coverage. Now, against man to man, really the main read we're wanting to look for is this tight end post or the little drag route underneath. Now, I will say that this drag route underneath, um, depending kind of on if you know for sure that it is man coverage, you might want to put him on a slant route just so that he you know, can get a little bit better separation against press man-to-man. -man. Most people aren't going to play press man-to-man -man against trips for too long because if they're playing press man-to-man, -man, you're probably going to be scoring touchdowns on your opponent. Now, another read that you have against man coverage is this little backside in route that you can oftentimes check down to for some easy yardage. Now, in this example, I do have a knockout on the field, uh, but just something to kind of look for here, just right on the cut, possession catch it. If he doesn't have a knockout, that's going to be a catch every single time, but just kind of uh, an FYI on the, on the in route. And most of the time, people are going to be shading their coverage up against trips, which is going to make it more likely that these little underneath routes are going to get open. OK, so that's pretty much the routes in terms of how they're going to work against man. But what's really more interesting is how this play works against zone coverage. So against zone coverage, coverage is like cover four, cover three, cover two. Um, what you're going to see here is this tight end post is going to get in a really soft spot against these zones. And it's going to do a really good job against really any kind of cover four or cover three. Now, another thing that's really underrated about this play is let's take a look at cover two coverage. Cover two coverage has two vertical hooks and a mid read on the field. If they leave the coverage as it is, as you can see, it actually is going to play this tight end post really, 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 really well. However, what most people are going to be doing out of their cover two coverage is almost always you're going to see that people are going to put this mid read in a deep third or they're going to user him in some capacity. And so the mid read is going to come off of the field. What you'll see is this vertical hook on the left side. They will give this little backside in route up if they take that mid read off of the field. Now, another thing that I want to point out, and I'm going to have to set some, uh, I'm going to have to turn match coverage on to show this. But another thing that you're going to see is a lot of times what happens is when they run this kind of cover two style of defense, the vertical hook will actually match to the number two trips receiver. So it will create something like this. And if you watch, see how he's going to kind of match there and it leaves that open underneath as well. So that's just kind of a little bit of a pro tip about this route combination as it pertains to cover two. Now, one of the most common defenses that you're going to face is a shaded down and outside, uh, shaded down and underneath cover four. And one of the easiest ways to attack this defense is to call the play verticals and to throw this little streak. Um, and that was absolute crazy play. I'm absolute. I don't even know how he made that play. Um, but it's to call this streak to the left side. So let me show this to you again. Hopefully we won't get a glitchy yellow zone over there. But basically this is wide open. Okay. That route right there is so effective. And they are, most people that play trips tight in, if you're playing against somebody and they kind of know what they're doing defensively, they're going to be concerned about that route. So what a lot of people like to do to try to counter that route is to basically take this defender, man him up on triangle, and then to hard flat or zone out this guy. Now they still are able to have a user in the middle of the field. But the problem is we are putting a lot of resources in the middle of the field. So they're going to be bailing out in coverage. And as you can see, again, this little backside in route is just going to be something that they're going to have to respect again and again and again. And if they do respect that backside in route, now they're going to be susceptible to this tight end post. So we'll show you probably, in my opinion, one of the best ways to play cover two or cover or uh, cover three or cover four against trips. You see there, they go to that. And then we're going to leave this tight end post wide open for a big play. 
This play is super simple in the big picture. It's also going to do a really good job against any kind of Mabel coverage. So if your opponent is running some Mabel coverage, it probably is going to look something uh, like what I'm about to show you on your screen, something like this. Again, their user's in the middle of the field. Let's say he stays underneath and he's able to defend uh, your drag and your little backside in route. If he does defend both of those reads, then as you can see right here, I can throw this tight in post right in that little pocket. Super, super high level and effective play out of trip side in. If you want to learn exactly how I run the trip side in offense, make sure you join the Patreon. It's only $10. It gets you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, everything you need to take your Madden game to the next level and start winning more games. Thanks for watching the video to sign up. Head down to the description and click the link down below.